Hello, everyone. I'm Dave Stiles from the University of Galway, and along with Ket Kiernans and Colin Fitzpatrick from the University of Limerick, I led this research on the EPA-funded project, EAT Packaging. In the project, we evaluated possible solutions to the waste management, resource depletion and littering problems posed by society's huge and growing dependence on disposable packaging. And we chose to focus in on single use disposable coffee cups as an example. The results of our analysis support the current policy focus on minimising the use of single use cups, whether they're edible cups or not. We really need a conscious effort by consumers to ensure the efficient use and reuse of reusable cups and the efficient washing of reusable cups as the best way to minimise impact. Edible cups do offer a niche sustainability solution um, in some situations, but they do face regulatory uncertainties that will require stakeholder consultation to clarify. For example, do they need to comply with food regulations as well as packaging regulations? In terms of our approach, one unique aspect was the combination of rigorous life cycle assessment to calculate environmental footprints with prospective scenario analysis so that we could consider the use of different cup types in different kinds of environments or different kinds of value chains with different waste management, with different energy generation options, because these can be very important for the overall impact um, over a single cup use. Um, and, and furthermore, we could look at the performance of these cups both now and in the future. In terms of overall recommendations, we would recommend the maximum deployment um, and maximising the number of uses of reusable cups and trying to minimise hot water use in the washing of these cups by simple cold water rinsing and periodic uh, dishwasher washing in order to um, minimise the environmental footprints of coffee cup use. There is a possible role for edible cups. They can reduce environmental impacts in certain situations where reusable cups are not practical. These might in, this might include um, on beaches, beach cafes, uh, or in airports or transport hubs where people might not have their reusable cups to hand. It's important that when designing edible cups, they're designed to be tasty as well as holding the coffee effectively so that people are more likely to eat them. And if they're treated as a snack as well as a cup, then that can be the best way to reduce and minimise impact because we can avoid the consumption of other uh, food snacks. So that's it in a nutshell from our project. Um, if you'd like to find out more, please do visit the website um, or look at the EPA reports or the scientific publication that we soon hope to have um, from the project. Thanks for your attention.